I've always been fascinated by other people's holidays. Where it is they go and what it is they do. That's why I've teamed up with Expedia to go on someone else's holiday. So follow me for my mystery luggage challenge. So I'm standing outside Greasby's, one of the oldest auction houses in London, where they sell everything from jewelry to gadgets to lost luggage, which is why I'm here. I'm gonna pop inside, bid on some mystery luggage, which I've got no idea what's inside. It could literally be anything, and then go on someone else's holiday. So let's get bidding. I still have absolutely no idea where I'm going. That's why I've just jumped on Expedia, had a little route around on some of the things that I can do. I've decided that I want some sunshine, I want a beach, I want some damn good food, I want some cool people to party with. So I'm gonna go to Barcelona. Despite the fact that I've booked real last minute, I've just saved 60 quid in the process by getting like a flight and hotel combination, which I'm really happy about. Flight leaves in two hours, let's do this. It's time to open this thing up. Auction tag off. <laughs> Ooh, daisies. Nice, flowers. Oh yeah, what is this? That'll look nice, I mean. Incredibly short. No. Without a doubt, one of the most famous sites in Barcelona is the Sagrada Familia, otherwise known as the Gaudi Cathedral. I have to admit though, the first time that I saw it, I didn't expect to be wearing this. Despite the fact construction of the Sagrada Familia started in 1880, it's still around 10 years from completion. However, that doesn't take away from its beauty. With three fantastic facades and stunning stained glass windows, it's hardly surprising millions of tourists flock here every year. And I think my mystery luggage owner would have really enjoyed it too. I made it to Park Well, one of Gaudi's most famous and colourful creations. Um, I thought I'd dress up for the occasion and wear one of my most colourful creations too. At times, walking around Park Well is like walking around in Gaudi's mind. Everywhere you look, there's brightly coloured mosaics and fairy tale like buildings. Gaudi believed there was no such thing as a straight line or a sharp corner in nature, so. You won't find any in the park either. So, getting a lot of looks right now. Um, I think it's got something to do with the dress. You can't come to Barcelona without visiting this place, Las Ramblas. It's packed full of bars, restaurants, and street performers, uh, which is what I kind of feel like right now, really. Using Expedia's 72 hours in Barcelona guide, it recommends coming down to Las Ramblas, one of the most popular points in the city. I've walked around a bit, spoken to a few of the locals, see where's good to go, and they've recommended this place, Escriba, one of the best places to go for breakfast. I thought I'd dress up a little bit and come down to La Bocadilla the most popular market in Barcelona. If you want some jamón, if you want some chorizo, if you want some seafood, then this is the place to do it. No matter the time of day, La Bocadilla is always buzzing with a mix of tourists and locals picking up things from the market. Make sure you come here when you're hungry, as dotted around the edge you'll find small restaurants and seafood bars serving fresh oysters and sangria. Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Guapa o no? Super. Super. Muchas gracias. The Gothic Quarter is without a doubt one of the most beautiful parts of the city. A labyrinth of tiny streets and secluded plazas, lined with stunning architecture, tiny boutiques and tapas bars, it's the perfect place to get lost in. After the hustle and bustle of the city centre, I've made it up to Montjuic, a beautiful place with green parks and fountains. And for those of you feeling particularly lazy, you can catch the cable car right to the top. And once you get here, you've got the most beautiful views of the city behind you. Also, I can see the beach. Makes me want to get my bikini on.
Montjuic offers some of the best views of Barcelona, but it's also one of the most peaceful parts of the city too. After a day of wolf whistles and being called a beautiful lady, I was starting to feel more than a little comfortable on my mystery luggage challenge. Barcelona really is a destination that ticks all the boxes. Not only do you have all the amazing things to do in the city, but when the weather's as nice as this, you can come down to the beach and get the beach wear out. Just a short walk from this city is Barceloneta, the beautiful beach in Barcelona. If you're looking to slow things down and relax, then this is the place to do it. And it's very easy to lose more than a few hours here. So I've come to the end of my mystery luggage challenge in Barcelona and it has been an absolute blast. The food's been delicious. I've seen so many different sights and attractions from the Gaudi Cathedral to walking down Las Ramblas to La Boqueria and even getting the bikini body out on the beach. It turns out going on someone else's holiday can be an amazing experience and I can't wait to see where it takes me to next.